All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, it's the last review for the 2022 Game of Thrones spinoff called House of the Dragon, and this is season one. Now here is the plot. House of the Dragon is set nearly 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones, telling the story of the Targaryen Civil War the, with King Varys and, the, uh, and Targaryen's children battling for control of the Iron Throne. Now here is the cast. So I'm going to be straightforward and honest with you as always, as I always am, and that's just true to who I am. Um, if you like my opinion, if you don't, that's cool either way. Um, I straight up did not like the first six episodes. To me, they were boring and dragging a lot. I did, however, love the last four episodes unless they got to that way sooner in the series. Now, I did like stuff sprinkled throughout the first six, six episodes, and I did really like the two actresses and their character that was the princess, even though around the middle of her story arc, I personally wasn't a big fan. Now, there could have been a reason for that. I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, yeah, there, it, it just personally, I wasn't a fan of it. For me, the actor that played the king, I wasn't feeling at first, but the fantastic performances throughout the second half, I loved. Now here's my rating, I'll come back with my final thoughts. Season one as a whole, for me, was okay. I could have sped, it could have sped up the story somewhat to get to that part and have it at least around the third episode. Um, I know they were building up something, but it felt like the build-up was way, way too long. Uh, each episode is an hour long to a little over an hour, and I think they could have shortened those to 50-something minutes, and, you know, it just felt way longer, like a lot, than it should have been, in my opinion, to, in order to get to the, the, uh, the main part of the story. Um, you know, um, but that is, this is my opinion. I know that there are people who actually like this, uh, hardcore fans that read the book. And I heard this is, uh, for a, quite a while since 2002 of people saying this is the most accurate towards the book, which I don't know if it's true because again, I didn't, or not again, but in general, I haven't read the book, so I don't know. Um, but I am definitely, definitely uh, excited to to get in the sec, uh, second season when it comes out. I think it comes out in February. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. I'll have to look. Um, but I'm very excited, actually, by the end. And I'm actually glad that uh, a friend of mine left a comment saying to look to... I should continue. And I did. And I'm glad I did. Because um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't have... Um, to be honest with you, uh, it was that much of a bore. And if this was a, because this what came out each episode once a week. If I were to have watched at least two to three episodes from the beginning and it came out, I probably wouldn't continue watching each episode when it came out each weeks. Um, so it is what it is. Um, but I don't know if I'd say I'd recommend it, but I think it, it's a very interesting thing if you're interested in. Wanting to continue the Game of Thrones thing. Because I th heard that they're supposed to be a lot better. Or at least I hope so. That that's true with the second season. So, um, but yeah. That, that is really all I got to say. Take it for what it is. Uh, my Just my opinion. Um, but remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love, most importantly. Skull.